One of the most fundamental core things that so many people around this world uh, come to coaches for is to achieve their goals. A great coach will know how to be able to support you to focus when it comes to your goals, to be clear when it comes to your goals, and they'll hold you accountable to achieving those goals. So what I would say is if we were to break this down into some steps for you to follow. The first thing you want to do is you want to establish rapport with your clients before setting the goal. You want them to feel like they can dream big and share big as well, instead of just playing small. You want them to really open up to share what it is that they desire that's on their heart. Uh, This is how you're going to be able to really support them in achieving what they actually want. The second thing is you want them to identify their core values. So how do they want to feel? Do they want to feel joy or inspired? Or um, do they want to increase connection with their their partner and feel more connected in relationship? Uh, Do they want to feel like uh, they are a person of integrity? Like maybe there's some work to do around that to, to set a goal around building more integrity within themselves and with others, right? These are core values. We have vocational values too, which is like reading, writing, running, uh, mostly verbs, you know, doing base things. Um, it could be Pilates or basketball or music or art or creating your business and launching your business. Whatever it is, you want to understand what they desire. Because if you can understand the pain that's pushing them and the pleasure that's pulling them, you can create a great system to be able to support your clients to achieve their goals. Then what we do is we look at, I guess it's a, like a stock standard way of setting goals, which throughout so many decades has worked so well in the coaching industry, in psychology and psychotherapy. It's very simple, very straightforward, but it's very powerful. These are what we call SMART goals. So SMART goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals. Okay. So specific means not setting a vague, generalized goal. You want them to get more specific about it, get more into some detail about what it is that they want to create, right? Then from there, you want to have something that's measurable. So you got to be able to track it. It needs to be quantifiable. How would you know that your client is progressing? Let them see how they would know that it's progressing by seeing little signs and things popping up along the way to show that they're making progress. Okay. Then we have the achievable goals, right? So basically, you don't want it to be so big that they snap trying to reach it. Sometimes it's better to chunk those goals down into smaller goals so that they can hack away at it rather than trying to be- swing that axe at that huge tree that <laughs> feels like it's impossible to knock down. The R for it being uh, relevant is really making sure that it's in alignment for them, that it ties to their values, that it's something that they actually truly desire and not just a surface level superficial type of goal. Like, oh, that would make me kind of look cool temporarily or that would make me a little bit of money for now. You want them to have a uh, a connection to their goals. Okay. And the last part, the T is time bound. You want to have a deadline by what date, by what time, like, is it the end of the week or is it in five days? Like, when is it that they are held with accountability to achieve this goal with a hundred percent fulfillment? Okay. That is a great way to set goals and achieve them. It sounds very basic, but it's not. It's, it's actually very powerful, okay? So then what we do is we move to prioritizing the goals. So if your client writes down three goals that they want to achieve, get them to highlight two goals. And then out of those two goals, you might then say, hey, like a process of elimination, you might then say, hey, now that you have these top two goals, what I want you to do is I want you to now circle the number one goal, the one that you want the most to see uh, come into fruition in your life. This way they prioritize it instead of, overloading their plate sometimes because we've worked on our goals for many years or maybe beyond them, many years maybe you've been doing this for decades it may seem easy to achieve a few things but sometimes your clients are coming in and doing this for the first time so you don't want to stack too much on their plate otherwise they get overwhelmed and they won't be able to achieve it and that's what leads me to number five the step number five here is breaking your goals down into manageable steps okay You want to break it down into smaller, manageable steps, and you want to make it easy to track the progress and stay motivated along the way. So maybe you tell them like, look, let's break this one goal down into five parts over the next five days, okay? And get them to determine what would it be broken down into five parts uh, uh, if it was like the first part is for them to just stick to the habit of, let's say in this case, like 
writing content or putting your sales page together, then it's like get, get into the habit of writing three paragraphs a day for the first two days. And then by the third day, I want you to get some photos or some content in the way of uh, media to put on the page. And on the fourth day, I want you to send in a revision to get your, your content edited and tweaked. And on the fifth day, we're going to have the final revision and we're going to post it online and share it with others, right? So see, you've broken it down into manageable steps. And then the last thing is providing accountability. So you want to check in and see regularly, how's your progress going? You might even get your clients to send over an update at the end of the day on their phone. And maybe they send you like a WhatsApp or something or, or you know, a message somewhere to say, hey, today I rate myself, you know, five out of 10, or today I rate myself 10 out of 10 when it comes to effort. You just want to see how the effort is going, right? Sometimes your clients can fall into procrastination patterns, or sometimes life happens and they get overwhelmed. So it's good to know where your clients are because they may need some different kind of support. If that's the way that you coach, if you have that agreement with them that you do check-ins, cool. Uh, it just means that it's going to support them more to achieve their goals, okay? Maybe it's a check-in once a week or once a month or every day. I don't know. It's whatever you decide to set your coaching business up as. But that's just another way to be able to support your clients to achieve their goals. So by using all these techniques, what's going to happen is your clients are going to feel like they have focus, clarity, and accountability. And that is the way that you become a great coach at supporting your clients to achieve their goals.